evening y'all happy memorial day i haven't done this in a few days so i thought i'd go ahead and do it and talk a little bit about memorial day and how it got started memorial day was a day of reverence and it started after the civil war i mean if you think about it brother against brother family against family neighbor against neighbor You know, every now and then I hear people talk about how rough things are in this country and in the world as a whole. Imagine what it was like for them where this wonderful nation only a hundred years earlier had fought its way out of tyranny to become one people just to get to a place where they're fighting each other again, you know, fighting each other now. You know, we find that in our own families still today. Now, fortunately for me, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> my family knows who I am they know what I've been through to get to the place that I am what I've done to become who I am they know me by my relationship with God they've seen me fight the battles They've seen me fight wars, fight demons, <laughs> even some of theirs. <laughs> I would like to show reverence today for those who have and continue to pray for us. And there's a whole bunch out there that I pray for. I actually say your name or my name for you. <laughs> God knows who you are. God knows who you are. And their sincere prayers, man. Can you imagine what it was like for the country? You know, imagine one neighbor fighting on the south and the other neighbor fighting on the north, and then they get through with all that. They come back together. Hey, brother, thank you for cleaning these silverware. You do a good job of it, brother, and I appreciate it. It's always been clean every time I come here. Try to do best, man. Hey, thank you, brother. Amen. Happy Memorial, Day. Happy Memorial Day to you. Sorry about that. No, I mean, I'm not sorry, but pardon me for getting distracted. Anyhow, imagine what it was like for them. Now they've got to come back. They've been shooting at each other. And if not at each other directly, they've been shooting at the other people that have been wearing that same uniform that are other neighbors of somebody. And now they got to come back home. But you know what honored them? No matter what side you were on, if you were a mother or a wife, you prayed for those soldiers. You prayed for the North and you prayed for the South. You weep. There wasn't no winners or losers in that deal. There were only losers and they were all Americans. 
I'm not trying to put up some patriotic flag here. I think we all know where I stand. There comes a point in time when you're not fighting the enemy all the time and you're in peace and you're in joy. That, my friend, is a free man or a free woman. You're not fighting anymore. You're faithful and you're, and you're grateful. Imagine what that's like. To not have to make effort to be grateful every day. Not just in the morning time, not just at night, all through the day. If you can picture that, that's my life. Uh, you may say, oh, well, Rod, you know, you, you don't have any problems. You don't have any of that stuff. No, I don't. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Oh, well, you don't have a bunch of bills and you, you know, you don't have, hey, that's right, I don't. You don't have any conflict. No, I don't. Faithfulness and gratitude came first. I was that first. But you do what you like. But on this day, let's remember those who have prayed for us and, and those that we have prayed for. Amen? Good day.